Are you ready to grab your crock pot, follow along with me, and have a comforting and warm bowl of chili by the end of the day? Then meet me in the kitchen. and I am a wife and a mom of three and I know how busy life can get and if you are looking to gain or maintain an active and healthy lifestyle I am here for you as I post short and effective workout videos on Mondays and Fridays and healthy family friendly cooking videos on Wednesdays and today we are taking out that beloved crock pot to make a warm and comforting pot of turkey chili that I promise your family is going to ask for seconds so make sure you go ahead and make a big batch because I know and you know how good leftovers taste the next day. So if you're ready, let's get cooking. So we are going to start by draining and rinsing our beans. You can use any two cans of beans that you like. I am using pinto beans and kidney beans and we drain and rinse those beans because they are sitting in a ton of salt and if we drain and rinse them then it is much easier to control the sodium that we put into our chili. Next, we're gonna go ahead and chop up our veggies that we are using. So I am using a red pepper and a yellow pepper. Again, feel free to use whatever kind of peppers you have on hand or that your family prefers. And we're also going to chop up a yellow or a white onion. When I'm chopping up my vegetables, I like to make sure that I chop them up pretty fine. I find that it's more likely my kids are going to eat it if the vegetables are smaller in the chili. I remember as a kid, my mom always chopped those peppers up really big, and it wasn't my favorite, but mom, I get it because it saved time. Next, we are going to go ahead and heat our pan over medium heat. We are going to add two to three tablespoons of olive oil and adding the olive oil is going to give us that little bit of fat, that little bit of richness since we are using a ground turkey. And then you're going to go ahead and add your ground turkey, brown it up. It doesn't need to cook all the way through because this chili is gonna cook in the slow cooker for anywhere between four and eight hours. While the turkey is cooking, we're going to go ahead and add our vegetables and the same thing with the vegetables. They don't need to cook all the way through, but they're just starting to get that little bit of char on them because that's gonna give us extra flavor as we go ahead and cook it the rest of the way into the crock pot. And then from here, we are ready to go ahead and put all of our ingredients into our crock pot to get it cooking. So you can go ahead and cook this chili on high for four hours, or you can cook it on low for eight hours, just depending on how much time you have and what works for your family. And now that our chili is cooking in the crock pot, I am just going to get some toppings ready. So I am going to dice up some red onions, shred up some cheese, maybe some tortilla chips, some sour cream, and some hot sauce. Hey, Lily, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. like it? Yeah. Tell your brother and sister to try it. If you love your slow cooker as much as I do, I am going to go ahead and link my lentil soup in the description box down below. It is so easy and absolutely delicious. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss our workout on Friday, and I will see you then.
Bye.